Hello, everyone. My name is Katerina Djelkovic. I hold PhD in architecture, master architecture degree, and master degree in applied arts. I served as a visiting professor at several universities across Europe and the United States. For example, University of Coburg in Germany, ST New York in New York City, University of Oklahoma, University of Oslo, and I guest lectured at TU Delft, Pau Porto, Dia Angel de Zau, Bauhaus, ITU Istanbul, Columbia University, and Morgan State in the United States. Today, I'm going to present the right to food, versioning and prototyping of smart urban farming. The political, economic and social crisis has seen Serbia of 2034 as a country of the poor, leaving almost every seventh resident below the minimum survival income. The right to food protocol has been adopted to enable a sustainable, social and united economy of healthy food chain in big cities, by operating within community urban farms. The proposal of community urban farm is understood as a non-corporate way to grow food using contemporary techniques and cutting edge technologies. In this future scenario, community urban farms become not only sources of fresh, sustainable food, but also hubs for innovation, education and community engagement, redefining the relationship between cities and agriculture. Stepping closer to the concept of resilient and circular cities, this scenario is the first holistic approach to visioning and prototyping of smart urban farming. It deals with concepts, methodologies, and technologies to construct an innovative concept of community that aims to empower vulnerable populations by testing different configurations of life, work, and farming. So the project asks, what if food can act as a catalyst for societal change and community building? The scenario introduces several community tech gadgets, brace, brick, balloon, robot B, online cloud, and AR application from the belief that it contributes to retrieving faith in the concept of community built on ecological, cultural, and humanist values of communal living in this hyper-individualist tech world. Moreover, moving from standard practices of farming to algorithmically generated farms with underlying machine learning and robotic systems, AI technologies enhance the decision-making processes to maintain food security, increase the nutritional value of food, secure the most personalized food consumption model, and therefore improve our health and the overall human condition. It is a technology that not only administrates farm infrastructure and enhances the types of necessary data models in support of the farm management, types of crop production, and response to a polyorganized farm production area, but also contributes to our understanding of the reality of current food production in the city and size optimization of the city farming. Furthermore, the virtual layer of the city intertwines digital, physical, and social layers, allowing citizens to actively participate in future changes of their local communities and food practices. So the scenario envisions the capacities of collective intelligence of all involved citizens to bring close the future well-being to the most vulnerable members of our society, while embracing human, non-human, and landscape health. Moreover, the project looks at the potential of these farms to grow into a constitutive framework, creating models for thinking the urban food systems that can offer meaningful responses to the outbreaking risk situations, social and economic crises. A future scenario for such an agro-urban community aims to respond to the urgent need for alternative work housing models, as well as alternative food sources, and production within big cities. The most relevant trends that I identified in the process are as follows. Number one, global trend of establishing circular economy. Number two, shift the narrative for food and farming. Number three, transforming relationships through food. Number four, integration of latest technologies. Number five, integration of vulnerable communities. Number six, logistics in alternative community models. Number seven, transition from corporations to communities. Number eight, opening up land holding. And number nine, localized food systems. 
we're moving towards elements of the future scenario. Element number one are future portals to the farm scale. In other words, search for the right scale is the key problem. From kitchen incubator, container box and kiosk size to the ship and railway size. But what are the priorities? The Urban Planning Institute is planning the experimental gardens for educational purposes, which is a priority number one. And priority number two uh, is planning the implementation of the farm from urban planning procedures to the design of the structure. In companion with data analysts, specialists, the construction industry partners can plan and predict scenarios based on data. Empowered by AI and the Internet of Things, the basic function is to gather data and calculate the amount of food needed daily for a 1.6 million cities such as Belgrade, and based on these calculations to analyze the scale and most appropriate typology of community urban farms. So I develop an augmented reality game that hopes to engage local citizens in planning and showcase the possibilities for what future community urban farm size, design, disposition in the city and community engagement could look like. So these are the models of community urban farms from mobile mix farms, abandoned building, indoor and outdoor farms towards vertical community farm and horizontal linear farm. From our personalities, I will choose Mania as a single mother and a Google employee, as she belongs to an emerging breed of farmers. So she chose model number three, vertical facade, which grows into vertical urban farm. She and the child are helping growing plants on the facade by using diverse technologies, AI, robotic system, plant wearable sensors, cameras, precision sensors, and software that manages farm. So this is an architectural solution that mixes engineering objects with huge vertical greenhouses. And these are some of the examples of vertical community farms and the prototype of the farm. So element number two is online cloud, the right to food. Online cloud is about creating healthy and equitable communities by allowing all members of the community to actively participate in future changes of their local communities and food practices. The virtual layer of the farm is created to intertwine digital, physical, and social layer to select and categorize information about the daily activities. And of course, all the information is interpreted in collaboration with local communities. This would include a sharing economy model where residents exchange excess harvest, fostering a sense of community and reducing food waste. Third element is the farm educational center. So members of vulnerable communities can learn the agriculture work and farming procedures, how robots work. They listen to stories while the robot serves food and gives instructions about the food traditions, but also learn about the specialties of that commune. Students can also experiment their practically the latest research in the field of robotics, sensors, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence. Among visitors and enthusiasts, the farm is a place of creating and sharing knowledge about the food system, while children have opportunity to grow up AI literate. Element number four, life of the community. The right to food protocol operates within three defense rings. The life is created around circular farm and inhabitants are supposed to be self-sustained farmers. This historical configuration resembles the Italian city of Palmanova, a Renaissance city in the shape of a nine-pointed star. In addition, these farms could be the best solution for aging resiliently in the community. The elderly can practice do-it-yourself farming on the micro scale within a produce cell consume model. In company, seniors share, cook, shop, eat together and meet. There are also cooperatives that operate smoothly, renting home for migrants, single parents, students and the elderly. So this farm can enable a community to become self-sufficient enough to feed and power itself and create consistent jobs catering to the weakest and most vulnerable populations. I would choose for this model 
uh, Ricky. He is a second year student in France and he participates in the horizontal linear farm model of community urban farms. He's eager to earn some money and participant participate in his neighborhood's popular co-creation and shared responsibility model. So he chose to temporarily cooperate in the farm's life and work scheme. We are moving slowly towards element number five, which is from micro to macro logistics. Communities information ecologies is about community-centered research. The whole territory of the city is used to map connections of different classes of citizens and their possibilities to meet, coexist at the same place and work along each other. But on a micro scale, there is a farm management in real and digital space, which operates simultan simultaneously by enabling real-time management. So, in this model, cooperative models, uh, cooperative robots are becoming part of each segment of the services provided. Growing vegetables, evaluation and analysis of healthy food empowered by artificial intelligence, agricultural production, food sorting, treating local organic waste, housing, the healthy food production, handling with care, but also storage cooking and contactless food delivery. Element number six, Telefood medicine and tech food control. The brace is a prototype. It is a measuring instrument which provides precise data of one's physical health, nutrition, disease, and physical activity. The elderly and the disabled use a brace with embedded sensors that enable collection of signals and its distribution directly to the online cloud. As part of the fully personalized program, the amount of food and its composition are also measured, allowing remote control food for the elderly. In case of need, additional quantities of food are delivered directly from farm to the home address. Element number seven, personal gadget as community gadget. So personal gadget is becoming an innovative building material. The prototype is a smartphone in form of the building component, the brick. The idea is to foster the communal spirit by enabling local citizens to install their own data into the farm building walls and construction elements. And in this way, all members of the farm community are becoming farm builders. The aim is to catalyze real-time internal communication between building sections in the farm and among citizens on a wider city scales. It refers to the information on how to access and use particular resources and as a path to a community livelihood made possible based on such access. Element number eight is tech hype community philosophy. So the overall goal of this project is to retrieve faith in the concept of community built on ecological, cultural and humanist values of the communal living in this hyper individualized tech world. The scenario and visions that communities will retain their role as the place of food-driven relationships that sustain local identities, improve internal care relations, and strengthen the ties between humans and non-human creatures. Driven by a holistic approach to the community organization, the aim is to build awareness and faith in a particular community concept. In other words, that the change of policies is accompanied by awareness of values. Community members learn about the vision of a different coexistence of all creatures and plants, along with the artificial intelligence as a model for an alternative futures. Of course, opportunities for companies are numerous. Please read this slide for the detailed information. Thank you very much.